Zero percent income tax in the United States. Do you believe that that's going to happen? I'm going to cover that plus much more. First, we have Congressman Thomas Massey says after reading the Bitcoin Standard uh, book, he, it inspired him to introduce a bill to end the Federal Reserve. <sighs> I can't even believe this gets even any attention, but I've noticed a lot of people are very interested in this and thinking this is actually going to be happening. Guys, this is this is not going to happen. First off, the Federal Reserve has been around since 1913. They are the most powerful entity on the face of the planet. They are the most murderous entity on the face of the planet, and they will do whatever it takes to keep its power. Look no further than Libya, Gaddafi. Look no further than uh, Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Yeah, look what they did. They tried to get rid, they tried to back their currency with gold instead of the US dollar. But you know what he totally missed out on? Is that the Federal Reserve, now that Bitcoin is around, is totally irrelevant, guys. It's irrelevant. So you know how I write, I have end the Fed shirt. I have it, I should have wore it on this. But I have an end the Fed shirt, which ha it has a Bitcoin going into the Federal Reserve exploding. Why, why, why is that? What's so significant about that is because Bitcoin has already destroyed the Federal Reserve. They, don't, they, can't, they can't control it. It's the first time that they cannot control people's money. Bitcoin has done and will do much more than any stupid little bill is going to do that passes. I don't even care what bills they are. It's so irrelevant. Let's move on. Zero income tax. Zero income tax. I know it sounds ridiculous, but Trump floats, re floats replacing income taxes with tariffs and gets criticized by economists. Of course he does, because economists love to love taxes and stuff. You know what I mean? Because that, that really is great for the economy. <laughs> A Trump campaign official told Market Watch that Trump simply floated the idea as part of a conversation, adding that the former president has said many times that as tariffs on foreign countries go up, taxes on American workers can come down. Now, there's a lot of people that are pretty pissed off at this. Uh, and uh, here's one from uh, the Biden administration. Obviously, there's a tit for tat here. Uh, even Trump's current uh, tariff proposals, 10% on all 60% on China would raise insufficient revenue by a wide margin uh, for this wrong-headed goal while making us less safe, prosperous, and competitive. Guys, you guys aren't even prosperous anymore in the United States. Businesses are fleeing the United States to try to get out of there because of taxes, because of the amount of red tape and regulations and so many different things. That's why you're having crypto space essentially leaving the United States going overseas because they don't want to put up with all the garbage there anymore. So you know what? As far as income taxes are, I hope that happens because that would be really good for bringing in massive amounts of money to the United States. So let me th know what you think down below. I would love to hear it. I think that we would all like to identify as tax free. Um, but if I'm wrong, uh, let me know, would you prefer to pay more taxes or less taxes? Leave your comment below. Uh, moving on, we have Larry Fink. Today, the average or the G7 average debt to GDP is 129%. This is Larry Fink saying this. No matter how much we tax, uh, how much we cut or reduce that debt, it will not be enough. So, I think Larry Fink understands that no matter how much you tax in the United States, you can't ever pay off your debt. It's, it's, it's done, you know, there's no point of even trying to even think of paying off all that debt. And without inflation, inflation might actually do that. Uh, okay, so now moving on to crypto, we have Joe Biden's campaign in talks to accept Bitcoin and crypto donate, donations. This is according to the block. Um, so he's trying to keep up with what Trump is doing. So, like I said, politicians are just going to say what's going to make them popular. And then when they get into office, that's when it's going to be interesting to see if they actually go through with any of this stuff. But these, these politicians, whether it's the right or left, 
They can say whatever they want, but don't you dare, this is financial advice here, don't you dare give any politician any one of your Bitcoin. That would be so stupid. I hope I don't even need to say that. With all that said, relax with the price movements that we are seeing right now. A lot of it has to do with leverage. They're just liquidating people that are leveraged. That's all that's happening. Right now, we are in a perfect, healthy position to move to all-time highs, in my opinion, very, very soon. Anyways, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and check me out at Sir Crypto Tips. Also, on, uh, that's on Twitter. And also, if you want to see what we are doing with our crypto, I'm very active on learningcrypto.com where you get to see our portfolio, what we are buying, what we are selling, and what type of alts we are in. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.